Hey Fanatics, Dave here with another video tutorial from LightroomFanatic.com. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use Lightroom to clean up duplicate images on your hard drive. I download a lot of stock images that I use on my different websites, and sometimes I might download the same image multiple times and put it in different folders. I wanted to figure out a way to use Lightroom to clean up those images so that I have one copy of the image on my hard drive. I wouldn't recommend using this tutorial for your original images or images that you have developed inside of Lightroom only because you might lose the developed settings as part of the process. This tutorial is useful though for stock images that might be scattered across your hard drive or if you've exported the same image multiple times and put it in different folders and you want to clean those up, this tutorial can help with that. But again, don't use it for your original images because you might lose the develop settings that you have in the catalog. Even if you use the XMP sidecar files, there's information that's in your catalog that's not in those XMP sidecar files, so you might lose information there as well. Now that the disclaimer is out of the way, let's get started. I'm starting here with an empty Lightroom catalog only because I want to highlight what we're doing. You can do the same exercise in your existing Lightroom catalog or you can use an empty Lightroom catalog as well just to keep everything separate. On my hard drive I've created a couple of different folders that have some subset of my stock images and there's duplicates in each of these folders and then each folder also has a couple of images that aren't in any other folder. Back in Lightroom I'm going to import those images. So I'm going to go to File, Import Photos and Videos. I'm going to navigate to the folder where I stored my images. As you can see, these are the three folders that we saw on my hard drive. Now I've got this Don't Import Suspected Duplicates checkmark enabled, and as a result, you're seeing a bunch of the images turn gray. I'm going to uncheck that just so I can show you that I do have the duplicates here for the iTunes logo, iLife, these images are the same, and these are actually copies of the same images. Lightroom uses information in the file and the file name and the file size to try to identify images that are duplicates. And since these are just copies of the same image, Lightroom has no problem identifying them as duplicates. So when I check the don't import suspected duplicates box, Lightroom will gray out anything that it's not going to import because uh, I'm importing or there's already a copy of the image in the catalog. Since I started off with an empty catalog, Lightroom, as part of this import process, will only import one copy of an image. So you can see these iTunes logos are not being imported because down here there's the there's a, a copy that will be imported. And similarly, anything that's grayed out here up above is because I'm importing one copy of that image already. So uh, Lightroom, in this case, does a really good job identifying the duplicates and will exclude them from the import. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Import. And what you'll wind up with is one copy of an image, even if it was duplicated in multiple folders. So as you can see, I pulled in 32 images from this first folder, 14 from the second one, and two from the third folder. And I wound up with 48 original images from all of the copies that were included in those three folders. So now that I've got one copy of each image imported with no duplicates, it's time to move those images to their own folder. So what I'm going to do is select all of my images, and there's again, it's the 48 originals. And I'm going to create a new folder under Photos. So I right-clicked on Photos and selected Create New Folder, and I'm going to call it Deduplicated. And I'm going to leave this checkbox that says include selected photos checked because what it's going to do is create a new folder on my hard drive called deduplicated and it's going to move the files into that folder. So as you can see now I've got all 48 of these images are in a folder named deduplicated and there's none of the images left in my original folders. If I go back to Finder what you'll see is my 48 images are in this folder, as I expected, because Lightroom moved them all in there. And what's left in my original stock image folders are the images that were duplicates. 
So what I wind up with is in this deduplicated folder is a one copy of each image, no duplicates, and then anything left over in these stock image folders were the duplicate images. So at this point I can delete my stock image folders because I've got one copy of each of those images already in my deduplicated folder. And that's all there is to it. Now you can remove duplicate images from your hard drive using Lightroom. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and for more, check us out over at lightroomfanatic.com.